What I want to talk about on this video is when you shouldn't use Expo or when do you have to get out of Expo. So if we go to the documentation of Expo, there's a part where they show you the limitations that you will have if you are running on Expo, all right? And this, um, these limitations could affect your project or maybe they, you don't care about them. Now, there is something called a native module on React and React Native. So for example, if I was going to use uh, Wix Navigation, which is a navigation library made by Wix, you guys will see that when, I go, when I'm going to install it, I have to run one more command. And this command is linking. Uh, where is it? Documentation. Linking on a project means that somebody wrote a module for React Native, but to link it, it means that we need to change our Xcode files in our Android Studio files. And as you can see with Expo, there are no files that you need to change. You don't have a, a Xcode file and you also don't have an Android file. And this is because Expo will handle everything for you. But this comes with a price. And the price is that you cannot link native modules because you don't have access to the Xcode file or the Android Studio file. As you can see here, when, they go, when they're going to install it, they say, John, add React Native Navigation, whatever. But then, look at that. They say, in Xcode, go here and add some files here and blah, blah, blah. In this case, change build faces go to link binary at this let's look at the screenshot right and even this in xcode you will need to edit this file right and you need to put this inside of the file so that would be for xcode for ios what about android you need to do this you need to add something on the android project settings and gradle and we don't have this we don't have this in expo because expo will control everything for us but again that comes with a price so we can only add modules on expo that are only javascript and that don't require us to touch our android or our xcode files look at this this is how uh you will link stuff you can go to the xcode you will add it you just have to drag it and then you have to just change something so that is a limitation if you need a library that is not included and it can in they doesn't exist on JavaScript only, then you maybe will have to eject. So there are two options. One is that you start your project without Expo and you start your project uh, with React Native in the console. Here it is. Mm -mm -mm. You will install that stuff, then you will install React Native CLI, and then you're gonna create some stuff. You will do React Native init, React Native blah, 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 and this will create a uh, Xcode file and an Android file that you can edit. But you will lose everything that Xcode is doing for you. That, sorry, not Xcode, uh, Expo is doing for you, which is handling the refresh, handling the build, publishing, all that stuff, you will lose it. The other option is you can start with Expo and just like uh, what we did on the um, ejecting from create react app you can also eject from expo and this will give you two projects both of them different one on xcode and one of android which is w kind of what we did when we ejected from create react app that we were able to touch and modify a little bit the webpack code this is the same thing that you will do if you eject from uh, expo so just wanted to tell you this because sometimes you will need a library that has to modify something inside of the Java code or it has to modify something inside of the uh, Xcode code. So uh, that's it. This is what you need to have into take into account if you wanna build something and if you find out that you have a library that doesn't um, only install with Jarn or NPM, but you need to link it and stuff like that. If you're curious, there is something called nat native directory. A native directory shows you a list of uh, like many, many, many uh, React Native React Native components, React Native uh, libraries that uh, will show you if it works with Expo or if it doesn't work with Expo, all right? So for example, this one is a video component for React Native and it doesn't work with Expo. This one is LinkedIn component and it works with Expo. So all this stuff, keep it in mind, if you need to build something 
that will require you to link it or if you need something that will require you to eject. All right, I'm gonna leave this link in the description. Now we'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.